Good day. My name is Stephen Davids. I am the CEO of a training company, a professional generalist, and a systems designer. In this video, I will show you how to add the mask to video strips in Blender Video Editor. To add a fixed mask to a movie strip, go to the place where you want the mask to start. Go then add the mask by going to the menu add mask and then add which one of the masks you want to add. In this case I want to add the mask named Julius. What you then do is you can uh, then handle the mask as you handle any other strip because this is now a mask strip. To extend the mask over a few pieces of video clips or video strips, select the uh, handle at the end, G, and then simply drag it over the whole section where you want the mask to appear. And you see that mask as it is there. Uh, it is stitched over a few video clips because this is a fixed mask but you can still not see anything so in order to see what you want to mm, see through here or blur whatever you want to blur you must still further refine the mask click on the mask go to the properties window of the mask and go to opacity and then set the opacity maybe to a further level of uh, 0.5 or 0. Point whatever you want to 0. 0.2 and there you have your basic mask any other changes you can make via the add strip modifier to add a mask for a moving strip is slightly different simply because the moving mask for a strip is specifically designed for that strips positions and unless you have another movie strip that has the same positioning and sizes when that object moves it is very unlikely that you will use uh, the uh, mo moving mask for that other strip so a moving mask is linked to each specific strip to add a moving mask to a strip select the uh, moving mask then go down to the property box of the strip go down to the property box and when you go down you go down to the uh, uh, add modifier strip add strip modifier and select it and there you will see then the mask select the mask when you select the mask the other go down again then you again select mask and from this drop down list you select the mask that is appropriate from all the possible masks that you have in this case yeah, I only have the one bunny and then you select absolute because absolute means that it will be linked to the frames and it will be in sync so if you play absolute uh, then we will see how the mask uh, moves there and here is a preview window which we can uh, increase in size and there let us see the preview menu Thank you very much for watching this video. We love constructive comments. Please like and share this video.